Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. Today is the 8th of September, and it is Sunday, and this is 30 Inks in 30 Days. And today, we're looking at a very special ink, Diamine Soft Mint. And this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful, tealy, bluish ink and I I bought a sample from Anderson Pens and let's go lowest to highest I bought a, a, a five a three mil sample from Anderson Pens for a dollar and 25 cents which that was a deal and then you get a two mil sample for a dollar and 40 cents I don't know what the shipping cost is difference but Anderson Pens is definitely where it's at. So, samples, it seems. <coughs> and the cheapest, you can get a 30 ml bottle for $7.47. Or you can get a 80 ml bottle for $14.38 from eBay. Alright, that's enough of that. This is what it looks like. It is a beautiful mint color. It is the same color as the Lombatau 3059 in soft mint. If you can even see that. There. <laughs> Sorry about that. It took forever. Anyway, I put it in the Lombatau 3059. So... Let's see. For those of you who are curious, let's look at it next to the Crayola panel. <clears throat> and it is somewhere between a green and a blue. Green and uh, like a blue green. But not quite all the way to blue. So it's like a blue green. And if I sound a little raspy right now, it's because I woke up with a cold. So, that's just lovely. You're just going to have to deal with it. I'm sorry. I went to Disneyland really late last night. And I stayed out till midnight. And we didn't get home till 1. And I stayed up till 3 o'clock in the morning. Just trying to catch up. If you hear me clearing my throat and coughing and whatnot, I apologize. I'm drinking Monster because it's got vitamins in it, and quick vitamins is important. I hope that you all are having a wonderful Sunday wherever you are in the world. And, um, let's start with the turtle. Alright, today is September the... Eighth. We made it through a whole week. A whole week. Well, let's stop for just a second to look at <clears throat> the first week's worth of... We did a whole week of writing with this, these inks, and that is pretty cool. I'm going to start new pages today. That way we can do it on a week-by-week -week basis, and you can see the rainbow form as we go. Okay. So, I go there... It's I am in soft mint. <clears throat> now, because this ink is new to my collection, we're gonna do all the books today. So, look forward to that. And I always do these in the mornings. I don't know if you know that, but I mean, it's relatively early in the morning. This is. Helid Packard Inkjet 24 pound 90 GSM Oh my god, I am so tired right now. I 
Sorry about that. I'm so tired, I wrote, The quick brown cow jumps over the lazy fox. I have to be ill. There's something wrong. <laughs> the quick brown cow jumped over the lazy fox. <laughs> oh my god, I'm tired. Okay. That's hilarious. This is construction paper. This stuff is fast. Wow, that's fast. That left like no streak whatsoever. Did you see that? No streak whatsoever. And there's very little bleed through, especially because this is a diamine ink. I totally thought it was going to bleed right through the paper. So, and then on the construction paper. All right, I'll be right back. This is the, <clears throat> this is the mead. This is the mead 10 and a half by seven and a half. And This is such slick paper. And this is such a dry writing pen, but it's wonderful. I love it. <clears throat> Don't underestimate the power of the cheap pen. Like a tiny hint right there. There's like a teeny tiny hint right there. Where Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. So there's a little tiny bit of trying to bleed through right there. And maybe heavy ghosting, heavy, heavy ghosting. But that's about it. <clears throat> For such a light ink, you'd think that it wouldn't bleed through a whole lot. Alright, now we're going to get into the CVS caliber notebook for 6x4. Now this ink, you would think that it would totally just soak right into the paper, <clears throat> but no, nope, not really. It holds up pretty well, I have to say, because it has done magnificently so far, which if you know anything about these inks, is like they do not really look the same on any of the papers. I would describe this as a true white, and this is like a greenish blue white. And then underneath it, I would say that this is more of a, a blue white. This is blue or white, this is blue, and this is like a greenish blue white. They're all different, aren't they? All whites are not the same. And all of the lines are different colors, too. This is like a dark blue, this is a black, this is like a light blue. I don't know if that has to do with the colors or whatnot, but oh, and no ghosting or bleed through on the CVS caliber notebook. This stuff is heavy duty stuff. The CVS caliber notebook. If you have a CVS near you, I would encourage you to go buy one because. This, this stuff holds a, up to a lot of scrutiny. I mean, like, it's just a fantastic paper for writing everything. I mean, nothing bleeds through it. I don't remember the last time one bled through. Not even the J.R. Bond ink. Well, I almost said the Jane Davenport bled through, but that's a fluke. That's pretty amazing stuff. All right, now let's look into the Fabriano Eco Qua 85 GSM. This is slightly less heavy than the Hewlett Packard paper, but I imagine that the Hewlett Packard paper would be cheaper written paper paper than this stuff so let's see
This is a pretty slick paper. I mean, comparing papers, I have to say that the Mead is smoother than the Fabriano Ecoqua. <clears throat> the, um, but I know that this is like really cheap paper, and this is higher quality paper, but comparative smooth wise, the Mead is the smoothest of all. And, like, even the note card is about the same quality as the Fabriano Eco Claw. So, I mean, it's not quite as thick as the note card, but it's getting there. I wish I knew how thick the note cards were. If I could find a generalized <coughs> information about um, how what GSM these note cards are, it'd be great. Alright then. Mm. Alrighty, um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Okay. Put all these papers away now. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're, let's um, <clears throat> address some labels and put them in the bath test, and we will check back with them tomorrow. put those in the bed test and we'll come back tomorrow and see what that looks like. I did not do a review of these with the Sharon Bennett because uh, it's made of food color. It's obviously going to disappear. So I just wanted you to know that just in case you tried to put... I did put some Noodler's Blue Ghost in there but I don't know if it will... I should do a review. Maybe I'll do a review. I don't know. But everything is packaged. <clears throat> ready to go. See that box over there? I need to send that out Monday. So, just so you know. Alright, haven't quite got that yet. We're going to go put this in the bass test. We'll come back tomorrow and look at it. And the last but not, not least, we're going to do the visual journal. <clears throat> but first, let's look back on the last week that we've been doing this experiment. And I am highly impressed, I have to say. <clears throat> Very impressed with how beautiful these inks have come out and um, how rich and vibrant they are and, you know beautiful. They're just fantastic. <laughs> this one kind of looks like a little little teddy bear a little bit peeking up over here. I tried to go back and draw in some details after it tried Golden Afternoon. And this one is Sharon Bennett. Kind of reminded me of little trees. So I went in and painted the stems of the trees back on. But other than that, <clears throat> now we're getting into Day eight. Day eight. Soft mint. Now, I don't know if I'm doing this correctly, so I'm going to draw a line in with my paintbrush first. Thank you. 
Alright, well I'm going to go put this in front of the fan. At any rate, <coughs> I hope that was useful to some of you. That is all for today, so thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Okay, love you, bye. Mwah.